Two words, Regency Inn. They've sparked debate among Greensboro city leaders for years, and now changes are on the horizon. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Neil McNeil. The site sits on O. Henry Boulevard and has been passed back and forth. Now it officially belongs to the city of Greensboro, and today demolition work started at the site. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman has been on this story today. She joins us now live from that site. Sarah, it might not look like much out there now, but this is a huge step forward. Yeah, it really is, Neil, for the entire city of Greensboro as well as this neighborhood. And you can see behind me the demolition process has started. And this is a really big step because this area, this space has been a problem for a long time. And so getting it knocked down is the first step to new life in this neighborhood. We want something good to come out of this. For 52 years, Randy Parker has lived close to the site, but the past few years have been pretty tough. It's all problems. They have uh, drugs, people coming up here trying to break into houses. It's not been good. Walls knocked down as machines claw their way into new territory. Let's help our homeless. Neighbors and the city can agree on that one. And the goal for the city of Greensboro really is to, to get as many units of affordable housing created as we can. Michelle Kennedy, the Greensboro Housing and Neighborhood Development Director, said the options are unlimited as they wait to see what developers include in their proposals. We're looking for projects that maximize affordable housing potential on this site and still meet with kind of the character of the neighborhood that surrounds it. The space is huge and it's a blank canvas to create change for hundreds in need. We believe this site could accommodate between 150 and 200 units. Um, so that's really what we're looking at. I'd say somewhere in the ballpark between 100 and 200 units. Machines moving and progress at the site is promising, but it will likely be a few years before a new building is standing here. Development is not a fast process, so any developer that's considering um, acquiring a site is going to need to do some due diligence. They're going to take a look at the site. They're going to take a look at what they think could best be developed on this site. And the demolition out here is expected to take about three weeks in total. And during that time, the city will be accepting those requests for proposals for what could be out here for the future development. So they will be on that while demolition happens out here. And there's no timeline yet on when exactly they will select a development proposal. But of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as that happens. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.